Hello, I'm Zarash, and welcome to episode 66 of my Steins Gate Let's Read. I think I know a solution. It is my last plan. But, if we can hold out till the LHC fires up, I think I can win. Until then, please enjoy. Mayuri and Daru are already back when we return to the lab. Suzaha is there too. To get rid of them, Krisu and I explain that we forgot to do the shopping. So could they please take care of it for us? I have to cough up the money to convince them to go, but it works. How do you not just grab onto Mayuri and squeeze her until she strangles? She understand why you can't tell Mayuri, but why can't you tell Hashita? I'll tell him when it's necessary. For now, it's not, and I don't have time to explain. While Krisu sets up the machine, I head downstairs to the Braun Tube Workshop, kick the door open, and turn on the 42-inch CRT. Oh, we're just going to into B and E right now. Yeah, but it's not, going to, it's not going to be a problem. That went more smoothly than I anticipated. It's highly illegal, of course, but I'll leap long before the cops get here. Krisu looks shocked when I return to the lab. They'll throw you in the slammer for breaking an entry. In a few seconds, it won't have happened. Yeah, English is being contorted here, but whatever. Krisu hands me the headgear, and I put it on. I see. That's how it looks from your perspective. What does it look like from my perspective? What happens here after you leave? Ooh! That's a good question. Well, it only exists. Yeah. Well, they say the world line is reconstructed after someone meddles with the past, so I guess everything shifts over. It's a weird question because, like I said, Carice is alive. Yeah. And we haven't seen any numbers. Yeah. So presumably it's the same world line. Yeah. But why his memories? Not well, I think the numbers are just for our sake, like as players, not like I don't think Okabe is seeing those numbers as the uh, uh, reading Steiner I know, kicks but, in. But we're if it were changing the world line, it would be showing those numbers, not just the date. Yeah, true. Yeah, and I think we have to change those numbers to get Mayuri to live because I think, well, not just that, all we're seeing is the date, the, the date, the time. Uh, what I think is going on is that because every other change in the world line has to do with someone else. Yeah. And not just someone else's memories, but their actions entirely. Yeah, Okabe has to do more. Okabe directly affected someone's actions. Lupico uh, changed how his mother reacted, yeah. as far as her dad. All Okabe is doing yeah. is fidgeting with how he himself perceives the world. Yeah. Which means that it itself doesn't change, he changes. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't he doesn't have enough oomph to change anything either. Like he's only been leaping a couple of hours. It might be like trying to uh stop the uh, avalanche after it's begun. Yeah, you know, he's not changing much. He's just changing his own perception. Yeah. It'd be like finding a, a letter from your past, you know, your past self saying don't give up. It won't change much. Yeah. In the way that someone else choosing to deviate would. Yeah. But I'm not entirely sure that this is a different world line at all. Yeah. Or at least he hasn't made enough changes to actually matter, like... Actually make it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like, he's only been flailing at the last couple of hours. Like, he might... If he goes back two weeks, he might be able to uh, shove things onto a different track then because of the butterfly effect. Oh, yeah. Well, because if so much thing, so much has happened in the last two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, at, at this point, he's only flailing at the end, and it's very hard to make a big change here. Yeah. So... Technically, I don't think there's a bunch of world lines where they just keep going and nothing has changed for them. That makes no sense. Yeah. It's directly affecting what's happened. Yeah. But whereas, whereas there would be world lines where Lukaku didn't send his yeah the message and he'd still be mailed. Yeah. So I think she'll just 
this whole thing wouldn't be a thing. <laughs> yeah. But she doesn't really know that, like... Well, how do you explain that? Because yeah. it's not like this person, who she is right now, dies or anything. Yeah. It's just she never was in this situation in the first place. Yeah. You'll know soon enough. My consciousness travels to the past. That I know from experience. But what about the body I leave behind? If time is a straight line, then it's likely the present will be reconstructed based on my actions in the past. But if the many worlds interpretation holds, then after I leave, this world will continue on as if nothing happened. I used to be so fascinated by the structure of the universe, but now I don't really care. All that matters is saving Mayuri. Krisu's fingers stopped typing on the keyboard. What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just thinking. That's bad for you, you know? Maybe it works like a D-mail. The instant we send a D-mail, the present changes around us. Thanks to reading Steiner, only I remember what it's like before the change. That would make things easier, though it kind of poked the wrong. Because you can't collect data if you can't record the change? Exactly. That would not be what I was worried about. Krisu nods and begins tinkering with the settings again. Well, she is a wannabe mad scientist. Yeah. I set the destination to five hours ago. We should arrive around 1.40 p.m. I completed the time leap machine just after two. Do you remember? Barely. For Krisu, that happened only five hours ago. For me, it feels like weeks. Maybe it has been weeks. Nobody likes a man who can't remember dates. You are really expecting a lot from him right now. Be thankful that I make a habit of checking the time. I have a pretty good idea of what happened when. Krisu finishes typing and turns to face me. Listen, Okami. If you're going to keep using the time leap machine, there's one thing you must remember. Don't let go of your phone. Ever. It's your lifeline. Your destination mark. As long as you keep it with you, you can leap to any time you want. But if you lose your phone, and someone else gets a hold of it. Then if I leap to that time, my memories could overwrite theirs. I don't want to imagine what might happen next. If it breaks, or the battery dies then I won't be able to leap to that time. If it breaks, then I can get a new phone with the same number, but there's still a period of time to which I could never leap. Time leap will fail. Once again, never let go of your phone. Got it. After you leap back to this afternoon, just sit tight and don't do anything until I complete the time leap machine. If you accidentally prevent me from completing the machine, it will likely wreak havoc with the time leap. Yeah, that might actually make a like a thing. As soon as I finish, declare that we will not experiment. Then send everyone home. Ask me to stay. Tell me the truth. If you say you came from the future, I'll probably believe you. How do you know? Because you look like that. Who knows me better than myself? Krisu grins faintly and stands up after she's done typing. Don't forget. It was my mad skills that turned the phone wave into a time leap machine. When you told me about your time leap, I took it as proof that my theories were right. I was happy it succeeded. It really was. I didn't doubt it was true for a second. I see. Just to be safe, I should probably give you a password. What I want the most right now is my own format. What? what? It doesn't mean anything, okay? I think she's being uh, Americanized too much and she's having problems with chopsticks. Well, and I, 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 I have a thing about like silverware. If it's washed, it's fine. Yeah. But if someone eats off my fork, I don't really want to eat from that fork anymore. They've got germs and cooties, right? But no, it just, I don't know. It freaks me out. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of get where she's coming from. You want your own fork? I already have my own spoon. Wait, that doesn't matter. Everything's ready. Now get out of here. I nod and call up the phone wave name subject to change. He's really dedicated to that. He really is.
Be careful. And remember, I'm always on your side. Krisu touches my shoulder, then steps away. I have so many mixed feelings because Suzuha. I lie back on the sofa with my phone in my hand, needles in my brain, a whining in my ears. These sensations never get any easier to endure. I look at the clock, it's about 1.45, there's a high school baseball game on TV. In about 15 minutes, Krisu will finish the time leap machine. All it needs are some final adjustments, so there's nothing for me to do but wait. As the pain in my brain subsides, I realize that my head is throbbing. Why? Oh, I remember. Right before this, I had an argument with Mr. Braun, in which he introduced his fist to my skull. Mayuri is at her sewing machine, working on her costume. Daru is at his computer, collecting more artwork from the internet. Yes, artwork. Artwork. The internet is for porn. Hey, fan, hey, fan art is art. Yeah, but I'm thinking more porn than fi than uh, artwork. Porn can be artwork too. Krisu's in the development room, upgrading the time leap machine. I sit, motionless, as the minutes tick by. Suddenly, the sound of the sewing machine stops. Okarin, Okarin, can you come here? Mayuri shows me her costume. Can you hold this for me? Spread it out like flap. <laughs> Mayushi, say flap again. Flap. I got a flap. Stop it, Herb. I follow Mayuri's directions and spread the costume out by the sleeves. Hmm. <sighs> okay, thanks. Mayuri looks a little tired. She was working on this costume all night. But then she smiles brighter than the sun. All done. I said something here, didn't I? What was it? I can't remember. I finished before Chris Chan! We were racing! You win, Mayuri. Congratulations. But I'm finished too. Frisu finishes connecting the two cords she's holding. Come to me. Alright, that's my cue. We're not experimenting. Eh? Crap. Was that too soon? I just finished and you're already shutting it down? What have I been doing these past three days? Time looping presents a host of problems. I want to consider them all carefully. Huh. That's an unusually respectful opinion coming from you. Problems? I thought it was done. I'll explain later. Everyone's tired, so let's go home. We're not going to have a party to celebrate? We'll do that another day. I managed to convince Daru and Mayuri to leave. You know, I've noticed something. My Neon Yanyan has become a lot less uh, prominent after May Queen disappeared. May Queen was the source of all evil. That's I lend Mayuri my phone charger, since we use the same brand of phone. Either that or it's just because uh, Faris hasn't shown up. Don't lend the phone charger. Krisu tries to go home too, but I quietly keep her back. What? Are you upset? Yeah. Probably because I shot her down right after she finished the time leap machine. She'll feel relieved later, but only after she has time to fully consider its implications. I came from five hours in the future. Krisu spears me with a piercing glare. Is that supposed to be funny? Her narrowed eyes make me believe that looks can kill. Don't glare at me like that. This isn't right. You were supposed to believe me. What made you think I believe something like that? You told me so. Five hours from now, okay? Don't be ridiculous. 
I would never make such a baseless projection. I'd like to have a word with future Kreisu. If this is how you're going to be, you, then you leave me no choice but to quote you word for word. When I told you about my time leap, you said, I took it as proof that my theories were right. I didn't doubt that it was true for a second. Don't forget, it was my mad skills that turned the phone wave into a time leap machine. I don't talk like that. What you want most right now is your own fork. What? Krisu's face suddenly turns red. You already have your own spoon, apparently. She said that? I'm gonna kill myself five hours from now. She appears genuinely shocked for some reason. But I'm pretty sure she believes me now. Feels like someone beat into my heart. That someone is Okabe of all people. What does she think I'm going to do? But I think you believe you. Tell me the details. Recap! I explain everything to Karisu again. I'm able to organize my thoughts better since this is my second time. I see. If what you say is true, then we have a serious problem. To say the least. There are five hours until Mayuri's death. We need to come up with a plan before then. Future me said that the chronology protection conjecture holds, but I don't think that's quite right. That conjecture says that according to quantum theory, time travel is impossible due to the danger of disrupting causality. But when you time leap, there's no chance of a time paradox occurring. Two of me don't exist at the same time, and I can't bring anything with me to the past. All that changes are the memories stored in my temporal lobe. Though on a quantum level, those memories still have, like, there's no source for them anymore, so that kind of doesn't work on a quantum level, like, with the future, uh, or the chronology protection conjecture. Yeah. But, yeah. Still, they have to stretch yep. some science. It's yeah. better than Black yep. Hole and Mar. So, at the very least, time leaping can't cause a grandfather paradox. Uh, kind of does because you don't leap back anymore, which would kind of cause a grandfather paradox. Yeah. So I was right. The universe itself is censoring me, correcting any changes I try to make. If that's true, then time leaping can't save me. Nothing you do will change the result. I can't accept that. Neither can I. The world is trying to kill me, Yuri. As a scientist, I refuse to believe such nonsense. What about the many worlds interpretation? I just need to observe the world where Mayuri doesn't die. Many worlds interpretation. That might have something to do with how Mayuri's means of death keeps changing. But it's supposed to be impossible for parallel worlds to observe each other. Why are you different? Because of my Esper power, reading Steiner. No time for your chinibiotics. There's no other explanation. You mentioned that reading Steiner thing before. Are you actually serious? Why would I make up something like that? Um. Well. We'll just leave that as an exercise for the audience. Post it down below reasons why he would make up something like that. Yeah. Our D mail experiments proved that I can somehow perceive changes in the timeline when they occur. It's an ability only I seem to possess. I don't know, but I don't want to rely on something that may not even exist. I feel you there. Yeah. Anyway, you can't control which possibilities you observe. Even if the many worlds interpretation holds true, it's unreasonable to expect that you'll ever find the world where Mercury doesn't stop. Wait, we're not getting anywhere. Instead of analyzing what I've done, Let's think about what we can do. Time leaping won't change the result, it just says that. Then what do we do? Calm down. How can I calm down? Do you know how many times I've seen Mayuri die? Covered in blood, gasping for breath, the light fading from her eyes, again, and again, and again. And all I could do was watch. I hear my teeth grinding in my skull, recalling that despair, that feeling of utter powerlessness, 
makes me want to lash out at everything within reach. Getting emotional won't solve it. You're only calm because you weren't there. True. I don't know what happens if I bow To be honest, it doesn't feel real at all. But it's not like I don't believe you. You have to stay strong, Okada. Krisu pats my arm. Her hand is warm, and her touch is gentle. How... American of her. You'll pat each other in the room? Sorry. She's right. Getting emotional won't solve anything. I need to calm down. Calm down. What I don't understand is how the cause can change, but the effect can stay the same. It's like causality itself is broken. Or maybe the cause is a bit more esoteric than... CERN wants the time machine. Yeah. Maybe Hiriyumoi shooting her isn't the real cause of the death. Maybe it's something larger and less obvious. Once again, we're 30 seconds ahead of the visual novel. For example, maybe she dies because we invented a time machine, because CERN discovered our hacking. If that's the cause, then it doesn't really matter how she dies. Causality remains intact. All of those actually might be. Yeah. Can that theory explain why Nye pushed her in front of a train? Oh, right. Yeah, that's, like I said, that's completely nonsensical. Yeah, unless it's something more esoteric than CERN finding out about um, the hacking. What if it's something like Kurisu lives? Oh god, that is adventurous of you. That actually could be a cause and effect of a lot of things. Yeah. Anyway, the principle of causality is absolute. Deny that and you deny all of physics. There must be a distinct cause from the root death. So, if we figure out what it is, then maybe we can save her. Not necessarily. What do you mean? The problem is when the casual events occur. Causal. Causal. Yep. Causal. Such a word. The problem is when the causal event occurs. Casual has the S and U swapped. Yeah, I see right now. If it happened too far in the past, then there's nothing we can do. But I can travel to any time I had a cell phone, can't I? No. It's still theoretical, but I believe that one leap with our machine has a maximum range of 48 hours. 48 hours? I can only go back two days? Why didn't you tell me that before? Um... Dude, she just finished it now. Yeah, but he didn't know before, either. The five hours in the future one, why didn't she tell him that before? Like, how is she supposed to know what the future mo uh, future Kurisu was going to say? I don't know, but like, why didn't they, dis why didn't they discuss that before before? Like, the, it has a theoretical mock yeah. Because if they try to go back two weeks, and a desperation. That would have been bad. Yeah. Yeah. Before what? I just finished the time leap machine. Remember? That's true. Future you didn't say anything about it either. Oh, so that's what you mean. Maybe she just didn't have a chance. So, how come I can only leap 48 hours? I don't know. Even I don't understand everything that's going on inside that thing. And how do you know it's restricted to... 48 hours. But you can do consecutive. Huh? Probably how her, like, she knows how much uh, of a memory difference the brain can take. Huh. Or, and she's just estimating on the safe side, like, well, two days. That's about it. Uh, after that, the brain's changed too much that the uh, scan's no longer accurate and it can do damage. But see, she's saying this, so I, I don't, I don't know how she's figured out that it won't do 48 hours in a single thing. But, eh, if she says it, it's probably true. Yeah. But she can do consecutive leaps. That is, as long as the time leap machine exists. For example, if the time leap machine remains functional for 10 straight years, you could leap back to this moment 10 years from now. It would take a while, though. Of course, that would take a total of 1,825 leaps, so I don't recommend it. Still, it's theoretically possible. Then what's the problem? Aren't you listening? I said as long as the time leap machine exists. 
When was the machine completed? Ah. Exactly. An hour ago. August 13th, 2010. 2 p.m. or thereabouts. It didn't exist before then. It's impossible to use the machine before 2 p.m. today. So what you're saying is... Count 48 hours back. I can't go back further than 2 p.m. on the 11th? Krisu nods, her expression grave. Most likely. Can't you improve it? Eventually, maybe. Certainly not now. I'd need a real laboratory with real equipment. It would be expensive, which means we'd need sponsors. And if we go looking, I'm pretty sure CERN will crush us, to say the least. I'd say that's proven by the fact that neither you nor I have left here from the far future yet. So, basically... We can't do anything? Even with the Time Leap Machine, we can't stop CERN from killing Mayuri five hours from now? At that moment, I hear a sound from outside the window. What? Is it Moeka? Did she overhear us? I dash to the window and look down at the street. It's Suzaha. Her bicycle has fallen over, and she's scurrying to pick it up. Our eyes meet. Huh? Why does she look so pale? Cause she just fell off her bike? Her lips move slightly. Looks like she's whispering something, but I can't make it out from here. Hey! I call out to Suzaha, but she leaps on her bike and zips away. With her arms still up, because her hand is yeah. sticking to the back of her head. She's acting strange. I smell a conspiracy. Moika was a spy. Could Suzaha be the same? Dude, she saved you twice. Come on. Yeah. It's too dangerous to trust anyone. Suzaha has ex exhibited suspicious behavior, though not as much as Moika. She's openly hostile towards Krisu, and she was able to take down CERN's hit squad single-handedly. I wonder if this missing father of hers really exists. Could he be the John Titer who's been posting on the internet? What is the meaning of the name Beryl Titer? Instinct tells me that she knows something. I dash out of the lab. Hey, where are you going? I know I don't have much of a chance of catching her on foot, but I have to try. There's something going on here. This is a completely new sequence of events. According to my memories of the future, Suzaha is supposed to remain at the Brawn Tube workshop until 6.30 this evening. But when she overheard me talking to Kurisu, she suddenly took off like a bat out of hell. This has to mean something. 